かがすいたでこちゃう。It is the day after our date with Maho and the first person we see. And here is Kara being asked to be fed. Yep, sounds about right. <coughs> Hi, Kara. The moment I entered the B Team Club room for our after school meeting, Kara comes over to me clinging and whining. <laughs> Quit beating around the damn bush and just tell me what you want already. Put your hands together and bark like a dog while you're at it, dude. <laughs> what the hell kind of a response was that? I'm teaching you how to beg properly. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, she's not wrong. Oh, he saw he saw a light, all right. <laughs> Let me tell you. Took one step closer to manhood. Uh, no. No. Not that it needs explaining, but my mood has absolutely nothing to do with BL. Just feeling a bit elated because of my date with Maho yesterday. Ah, uh, that explains it. Yeah, well, that's certainly not good. Let me see what I got. Oh, how about some kombu? Kombu. What are you frowning at me for? You think you get to be picky when you're begging for food? You spoiled little brat. All right, you want sweets? Akane's loaded. She ignores my complaints. Just like you ignored hers. Why don't you just ask Akane Senpai instead? Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess being called a twat didn't sit well with her. She hands Kara an empty candy, empty candy wrapper. Oh, that's petty. You are so awful. And. He accepts it anyway. God. Holy shit. And we get the dregs of society thrown in for good measure. Oh my god. God, she'll probably swallow the whole fucking thing. She starts wildly licking the inside of the wrapper like some dog. And you made her beg like one earlier, so what's that tell you? I think I'm gonna go insane if I stay around these people much longer. Okay, where's Maho? Uh-huh. Oh, my sister dearest has arrived! My love, the bomb for my soul! I get Suzu to pat me on the head to soothe my maddening mind. You're 
You're the last person I want to hear that from. <laughs> well, she has a point, you know. Maho! This isn't what it looks like! Oh, I thought that was me. Yeah, Mido! It gives me a look so ice cold it freezes my heart. Uh, oh, Senpai! Pulls me by the arm into her bosom and starts patting me on the head. Oh, I'm just fighting words. Yeah, he wants you to do it to him, probably. <laughs> Fuck. Maho huffily pulls me away from Kisa Senpai. Yes. You mean like basically every protagonist individual not okay, not every, but a lot of them. Maho and Kisa Senpai glaring daggers at each other. I think it's a bit late for that. Good call. She'd be trying to tell him to back off. What the- Suzu! Suzu, feeling some kind of sympathy, drags me out of the room along with the two heartless commentators. What gives? You're just getting to the good stuff. How do you know? Well, yeah, that's true, I guess. Though I'm still not sure exactly what they're gonna be talking about. What they're gonna be talking out. Okay. <laughs> All too suddenly, I've been left alone with Kisa's him. Oh, it's oh, it's Maho. Um. Ah, oh, fuck it. All too suddenly, I've been left alone with Kisa Senpai in the club room. Uh-huh. Ah, crap. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, Alright. Let's just move on from that, I guess, because I have no idea how to respond. Clearly not, because she wouldn't have said shit like that. Uh, 
あたしの清い宗介を返せそうですね今みたいにはっきり言ってくれれば私も張り合いがあるというものです He nods to herself as is coming to some internal conclusion. Martin, on a dosh no hanasio shimasho. On a dosh no hanasi? Shin sak sweets no hanaska. Bokena de kodasai, watashi wa ita te shinken des. Ah, heh. Says the person who is gleefully talking about turning Sosuke into her slave. Yeah. <sighs> the definition of serious varies greatly here. Yeah, just like you're incapable of engaging in a conversation unless it has some sort of sexual innuendo involved, or sex in general. Her. Any other creepy shit you can think of? Exactly. Your stuttering says otherwise. Seems like that worked well. <laughs> Seems pretty important to her, so I guess I can at least hear her out. Yeah, there's only one reason why she is even conversing with you in the first place. And not, you know. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Well, yeah, but I didn't think she'd just jump straight into it. Oh, really? So, how do you do it? Yeah, but they're valid. Maho, you're not making this any easier for yourself. You love it. Yeah, okay. I can't answer. Her. I can't even tell Sosuke himself my feelings. Let's read that again. I can't even tell Sosuke himself my feelings. There you go. She mutters in a monotone before shutting her eyes. Uh... Haven't you done that multiple times already? I mean, indirectly, yes, but haven't you done that multiple times already, regardless? <gasps> she declares her intent with the most serious of expressions. Oh, she is clever. Yeah, until he starts getting tired of your, uh... Mush, your mushed brain that's been... Corrupted by Eroge. Yeah, 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Maho, you're taking your hole even deeper. The more you deny it. I wonder if... I wonder if Sosuke can hear any of this. Her tone carries a bluntness to it, as if she's trying to, pres to pressure me into telling her to stop. This gives me a suggestive look. It's like she's telling me to confess too. But I... Uh-huh. Yeah, how are you gonna get out of that one? There's no erasing my past faults. My momentary, momentary insecurity caused Sosuke a year's worth of pain. See, now that I agree with. Whatever you choose to do in life, don't leave room for regrets afterwards. Keeps the senpai, then walks toward the door and leaves. The now empty room feels eerily quiet to me. What the hell is she trying to get me to do? She was trying to get you to confess to Sosuke, dumbass. <laughs> Honestly, she's way more generous and kind-hearted than I ever gave her credit for. I know she did this for my best interest. Uh-huh. I sit alone in the room, hugging my knees as I sink into self-loathing. Why do I have to be so indecisive? Hmm. Oh, hell, my hole. Ah, oh, hello, Sosuke. I notice something off as I greet Maho and take my seat. Oh. Hope I didn't start this too late. Sounds pretty under the weather. I wonder if she was up all night playing fighting games or something. Okay. It's lunchtime, and I'm just about to dig into my food when someone comes up to me. What are you doing? Your, uh, senpai's going for you? Senpai? Who's that? <laughs> yep. Oh, just you, he's senpai. <laughs> For a second, I thought maybe it was some upperclassman babe calling for me, but nope. Just my arrogate, obsessed senpai. Look, what do you want? If you want to eat lunch together, then sorry, but go eat by yourself or something. Damn, dude. Yeah, so the least you can do, otherwise she'll keep bothering you. I know it's only her, but talking to a girl in front of my whole class is getting me a bit embarrassed. Wow, dude. Grow some balls. No, in fact, I've mentioned this before. Maho looks older than you. Also, I'm not really sure if that was supposed to be another fourth wall break or not, but if it was... Another clever one. That makes no sense. <laughs> kind of face says something that specific! 
までにして。That took way too long, but I guess I'm partially to blame. 今日の放課後、浜辺まで来てください。Uh, the beach. Uh, is the place we normally go to find? Hi. 間違ってもエメラルドグリーンを求めて遠く南の島まで出向かないでください。Ah,、uh, don't worry. I don't. Have, I don't have nearly the kind of stamina for that. でも、よく言えば、水平線まで見渡せるビーチでハイビスカスティをアベックストローでチューチューしながら。沈みゆく夕日を眺めつつ言葉なんていらないさ君の瞳の中にもう答えはあるさって無言で抱きしめてほしい Did you please tone it down some? We're in front of my class and I really don't want to be associated with this kind of craziness そうですね一旦冷静になりましょうきっと私緊張しているのだと思いますから Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs>、yeah. She fixes her ruffled hair with her hand and clears her throat. <laughs> sure, but, um. What about club? You're really asking me to do that? So. Was that really necessary to say? Not really. She holds out her small pinky. I mean, I'll be there either way. Yeah, and with that look, I'm assuming I'm gonna be the one to die first. Crazy bitch. <laughs> To make matters worse, he's grinning like she wants, to, wants me to break this promise. I better keep this damn promise. Lest I want a creepy stalker following me around for my entire fucking life. Wow, that wasn't ominous at all. Do you always have to be so gross? Yes. That's your character. She then takes off down the hallway in a half run. I wonder what she needs to tell me. Probably something dumb like a new fetish she discovered. <laughs> Huh? Uh, hi. Who was her? Apparently, she wants me to come to the beach after school or something. Just an all. You're acting kind of weird today. Jerry's out of the classroom. Yep. Yeah, you do. <sighs> Looks like summer's coming on. I take a seat and admire the lovely evening view of the beach as I wait for Keith's senpai. Came here directly after school since she never specified a time, but she still has yet to arrive. This summer was truly an experience. I think more happened this summer than any other summer in my life. Suzu came back after years of us living apart. I worked my first part time job with my friends. Did my first summer comic hat. 
And some stuff happened with Maho, including our date from the other day. And now Kis Senpai has a confession to make to me. I can only imagine how much my life is gonna change from here on out. And right as I'm deep in thought, the girl herself arrives, making audible sand crunching noises as she walks for dramatic effect. Or something. Man, you sure took your time. I thought you were just gonna stand me up. Wow, that sounds ominous. Despite the silly performance, I can see her knees shaking feebly. Uh. Samui? Uh huh. She slaps her cheeks, psyching herself up. She calls my name in a clear voice. In total contrast from her prior antics, too. She looks dead serious. I guess this is where the real business starts, huh? Again, I thought we established this early on. The wind quietly blows the sand across the beach. For a brief moment, nothing but silence perspires from here to the horizon. It's a direct, honest confession. None of her usual bullshit, I mean shenanigans, eh, same thing. Hearing someone earnestly say they love you really does get your heart beating fast. Yeah, it does. Too bad I haven't experienced that in literal years at this point. Reminds me of that day from my past. Uh, Maho, will you, will you go out with me? I wonder if her heart was racing like mine is now. Despite the lingering regret in my heart, I still remember that day like it was only yesterday. She rejected me, and we decided to stay friends. Mm. But my feelings never went away. I still do like her. Everything that happened with Yuna Slightly truly reminded me of that fact. Even if she shot me down, I'm still obsessed with her. And I don't blame you, dude. Uh, I'm sorry, Kisa Senpai, but I have someone I like. Words came out so naturally, it's almost unbelievable. Uh, why are you laughing? <sighs> yeah, you're right. What's odd is she doesn't seem to be fighting back any tears. I really have no idea what she's thinking. Teh. Yeah, that's a that's a, always a mystery right there. Glances behind her, then turns back to face me. I can see a slight redness in the corners of her eyes. Uh, uh huh. Uh, 
最後に一度だけもし宗介君が嫌じゃないなら。She comes closer step by step until our tiptoes are almost touching. She's so close that I can clearly make out the slight blush on her cheek and the noise of her breathing. She's staring at me with upturned eyes. I still won't choose you, just so you know. Well, at least she understands. I know it's a terrible argument. This won't help her get over me, no matter how much she wants to believe it, believe it will. I know that all too well. I just can't bring myself to ignore her as she stands on her tiptoes to match my height. It's just a kiss. If it doesn't help her, then what reason do I have not to? The sun sinks further into the horizon and our shadows stretch far behind us. We both silently close our eyes and bring our faces together. Oh, is Maho going to show up after this? I can't see them, but I can feel her lips draw me in. And there she is. <laughs> our little moment is suddenly shattered as Maho barges her way between us, just like Sen Senpai did before. Kisa Senpai gets spooked and falls flat on her ass. What? Maho, what did you get here? She's panning and yelling so loud it's completely out of character for her. Orolingus, that's the first time I've heard that word. I know what it means, but still. So you were trying to do that. Play me like a fucking fiddle. Just great. Oh, my bad. She was planning to felicitate my top teeth. Anyway, that's just gross. You pre I could care less about Kis Senpai's pity party. I'm more interested in how Maho just barged in here. Maho. Why? Couldn't what? Her eyes root me to the spot. Maho, you. <laughs> Oi, Senpai! Right as we're in the middle of an important conversation, Kisa Senpai comes in and suggests something outrageous. She knows you want to, Maho. Oi! Suddenly jumps toward me, aiming her lips squarely at mine. Yeah, 
I'm being punished? Maho ignores me completely, glaring menacingly at Kisa-senpai. Uh-huh. You're cornered. <sighs> Two girls finish their one-on-one -on -one talk and then Kish Senpai turns to look at me again. And may your next love be as fucked up in the head as you are. She gives a quick bow before spinning around and dashing off. I think about saying something to stop her, but I don't come up with anything in time. The evening sun illuminates her face as she turns to face me. Hi, so this. How could I forget? Everything I'm trying to do now ties back to that day. He, yes, you did. Yep, you sure did. She frantically searches for the right words to say. Whatever she wants to say, it must be hard to express. Uh huh. Peer pressure. Huh? The unexpectedness of those words causes me to waver. She didn't mean to reject me. Which means what I think it means? She apologizes while I'm still trying to sort things out in my head. Ah, don't apologize. It's my fault. How? If I'd actually done a better job of confessing, I never would have had to ha It never would have had to happen like that. It's not your f Dude, Sosuke, it's not your fault. So the feeling was mutual back then. I got rejected though and ultimately given up on her for a period of time. The feelings of guilt from that day always stayed with Maho. I'm sorry, I should have realized sooner. Must have been hard for her too. That's why she kept stressing how close we were, quote unquote. As best friends, or whatever. And there's a development. Huh. <laughs> She's basically been up my ass the entire game at this point. So, I don't know about that. Uh, 
A look of relief is on her face as she finally allows her feelings to pour out. How is Nuki Senpai was jealous of Maho being my childhood friend? Well, and I guess Maho is jealous of her for reasons of her own, too. Which means, since their feelings were alike, I probably understood how the other was thinking. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, you managed to get all your feelings out, did you not? Two of them bickered a lot up until now, being rivals, but they'll be great friends from now on. Something I never thought I'd see or read. At least, that's what I think. But, since you say it's your fault, Maho, doesn't that mean you should be paying for your crimes, eh? Huh? Well, wasn't it your shyness and cowardice that made me suffer and worry all this time? Kinda harsh, don't you think? Eh? As if you really have to ask at this point? Huh. Let's see. How about some what the fuck? Oh. Alright then. Just do one thing. Ask me out. Well, I did it once. So now it's your turn. He, he's good. Now then we'll be even. Not a bad proposal if I do say so myself. Absolutely not. That was, that was really good. Despite all the progress we've made, it's not like our relationship is official, yet. Can't advance from here unless they put it into words. So, so Long hair flutters in the sea breeze and glistens under the setting sun. She used to end up battered and bruised during all the roughhousing we did as kids. But her skin is beautiful and spotless now. I and there it is. Embarrassments and misunderstandings caused our love to end the moment it was about to begin. But maybe, just maybe, that wasn't the final chapter in our story. Of course I will. I like you too, Maho. We're pulled toward each other by some invisible force. I wrap my arms around her while she ties hers around my neck and closes her eyes. Uh-huh. And, uh... Well, I'm thinking about it. Thumbnail! By the way, I haven't been... I haven't been looking for thumbnails for the last... few episodes. Yeah, I'll do it when I get around to editing. Genuine kiss. No surprises this time. This is my true first kiss and it's loaded with my passion... passionate feelings for Maho. I fell for her so long ago that I don't even remember when it was. But at last, my dreams have come true. Sosuke. Should I use this as a... No. Her slightly parted eyes stare into mine. It's like we've entered a little world of our own. The only thing I can feel is the warmth of the girl in my arms. 
マハノイチロー This time I press my lips against Maho's Only lasts for a moment but I'm sure it's a moment I'll never forget Me too. I'm not gonna let you slip away from me ever again. Sosuke, mada, tarinai. By the way, I uh added the H patch after starting the game, so I'm hoping that it works. We might find out pretty soon, actually. Maybe not now, but a little bit later on. Uh, our third kiss lasts last slightly longer. Then, finally, but reluctantly, we part. So, I guess this officially means we're dating now. You just, he's just pointing out the obvious. Gotta understand, Baho, this is like a dream come true for me. None of this feels quite real yet. I just can't settle down. Yeah, feels pretty good, doesn't it? Eureka! I'll probably calm down if we kiss again. Ah, come on. Ah. Yeah, if you keep kissing now, we'll give new meaning to the to sex on the beach. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, sex on the beach is an alcoholic drink. I don't know what it's made of though, and I've never had it myself. Now I just want to... Wow, dude. Now I just want to super glue our lips together. Seriously, that was a bit much. I may be acting cool and joking around, but I have this overwhelming urge to pull her into my arms and it won't die down. Bars. What's up? Wanna kiss me? Because you're my girlfriend, duh! Plus, we've known each other for ages. It'd be weirder if I didn't know what you were thinking. True. Yep. Wanna hold hands on the way home like the happy couple we are? Oh, come on, we've done it before. Uh, we held hands on our date the other day, you know? <laughs> exactly. Seems like she really needed to psych herself up just to hold hands. I squeeze down on her hand and she squeezes mine back. Hit. Let's go on my hand for a second to make sure we're linking fi- Ha. Ah. Linking fingers. Oh-ho! Being a little bold there, Miss Maho. She's not kidding. When did you get so strong? <laughs> Maho and I hold hands and joyfully walk along the coast. Oh, shit. Sure. You'll be wearing that dress for me, right? 
あれは夏限定だから。Fine by me. We'll hold our date tomorrow. バッカ。明日は授業あるだろう。Oh shit. へ、oh. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and? We can just skip. Uh, no. Yeah, and imagine how everyone's gonna act when they hear about this. I'm sure they'll understand. For a while? Yeah, I imagine most everyone's gonna start teasing us the moment they find out, and, uh, And Prez is gonna be extra pissed, I bet. Eh. I think it'll be kind of fun, though. Just be sure you don't end up getting embarrassed and flipping out, okay? A rabid dog. Don't bite me, please! She's so adorable when she gets all bashful like this. Just makes me want to kiss her. Uh, where did you come from? Ugh, I gotta be more careful. Wait, Kitsu Senpai! I thought that was Maho, but Kitsu Senpai just randomly slipped right up beside her. あ、はあ。そ、そうか。やっちょうどよかった。先輩。改めてありがとう。私たちその。ちゃんと恋人になれた。え、にはお呼びません。なぜなら、お礼に私はお二人の。<笑> Scrum diddly umptious. Wow. Yeah, but we didn't expect you to watch the whole thing. Jeez. みうちのリア充イベントに出くわすことなんてもう一生ないと思って。好奇心に負けたというやつですかね。いやでも正直きつかったです。一度だけならず三度もキスしてしまうなんて。ああ。魔法もう一回そうすけまだまだ足りないの
Completely predicted that, too. Yep. That's how it usually goes. Like a little kid on Christmas Eve. As I waste time staring up blankly at the ceiling, my phone suddenly vibrates. And it's none other than Maho. None other than Maho. Mosmoshi. Oh, what a coincidence. Me neither. Oh, that's adorable. I I used to do the exact same thing with uh, all the girls I've been with. Are you sure you're awake? Is this what girls are like when they're hopelessly in love? Dude, Sosuke, just do it. I can easily imagine her expression on the other end of the phone. <sighs> Alrighty then. Oyasumi, Maho. Fully aware, we seem like some sappy couple out of a manga, but you just have to forgive us for today. We kiss each other good night and all, but neither of us hang up the phone. <laughs> uh, I've I've done this before too. Uh, you hang up first. She's totally gone in love struck mode. Sure, we can talk till morning if you want. What the? Are you really worrying about your phone bill right now? You totally ruined the mood. And just go to sleep, you cheap ass. Go blow yourself your own goodnight kisses, dude. I spit out my sharp remarks and hang up the phone. I really don't think she was fully awake. Well, that aside, I think I need to take Maho to the phone shop so we can get one of the get us one of those couples plans. Well, they actually have that. Well, that time has finally come. Maho and Sosuke are a couple. <sighs> uh, can't wait to see how far this goes. And yes, like I said earlier, I downloaded the H patch and I added it mid game. So I'm hoping it works. Because if it doesn't, well, then I guess I'm not going to be able to give you a recap of the H scenes anymore. <laughs> but, uh, that's going to do it for me today. Until next time, don't be a dick to your significant other, especially if it's someone like Maho or any of the other girls. Senpai is wing woman confirmed. And very unexpectedly, I might add. And keep on rocking.